I just learned Discover credit cards do something pretty awesome. At the end of your first year, they automatically double all the cash back you've earned. That's right. Everything you earned doubled. All the cash back from eating at your favorite soup dumpling restaurant doubled. All the cash back from that trip where you sort of learned to snowboard also doubled. And the best part, you don't have to do anything ridiculous to get it. Nope. Discover does it automatically. Seriously, though. See terms and check it out for yourself at discover.com slash match. Cartier, Rolex, Gucci, Prada, Jordan, Adidas, Bottega Veneta. At eBay, it's real or it's getting the fake out. eBay's team of luxury authenticators are making sure you never get faked over again. Watches inspected by watch aficionados. Sneakers checked by legit sneakerheads. Handbags examined by handbag connoisseurs. And jewelry in the scopes of expert gemologists. These authenticators are leaders in their field, with meticulous eyes making sure your piece arrives as authentic as your style and worthy of your collection. As experts, they know the true difference between a real and a fake. Real carries that rare, distinguished feel, the weight of pure platinum, exquisite scent of Togo leather, and the tight stitching on a pair of dunks, the brilliance of real diamonds. So rest assured, your Rolex moves just like a Rolex should, and that colorway on your Jordan Royals will always be on point. The details inspected, the fakes rejected. Ensure your next purchase is the real deal with eBay's authenticity guarantee. Everyone deserves real. Visit ebay.com for terms. This episode is brought to you by Mountain Dew. Last year, Mountain Dew launched the Mountain Dew Real Change Opportunity Fund, a commitment from the brand to make tangible investments in black entrepreneurs. In year two of the Real Change Initiative, Mountain Dew is partnering with the HBCU Esports League to put a spotlight on the HBCU student gamers and fuel their drive into their competitive field of esports by launching the Mountain Dew Real Change Challenge. With a focus on increasing black representation in esports and gaming, the Mountain Dew Real Change Challenge will support HBCU student gamers by sponsoring a nationwide HBCU esports tournament. Contestants will compete for an overall prize pool of $500,000, coaching and exposure to esports professionals, and a gaming contract with Mountain Dew for up to one year. Gaming fans can tune in to twitch.tv slash community, that's twitch.tv slash C-X-M-M-U-N-I-T-Y on February 25th to catch the final showdown between the top two HBCU teams competing in the ultimate game. I don't know where to put my headphones. Okay. Yeah. Are we recording? Yeah. Don't start. We are recording. Oh, hey, bro, it doesn't go that far. I just got to, yeah. If you might, do you need to sco- scoosh over a little bit? Maybe flip it, too, so that the cord is on this side. Yeah. There you go. Oh. Do you need okay, to scooch? I'm mean, if I can know what? Yeah, just try, just lift your legs. Lift your legs up, yeah. Or is I that hold, I can hold it down here. Yeah, it's fine. Are you good? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Locked in? You don't need to? All right, perfect. Okay, we good? You guys good? Yeah. Now be ready, Rose Angeles. Stop. I'm sorry. You're calling me that. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> you don't care. Let's go. Whew. Hold on, I need a deep breath. <sighs> what was that? I started meditating, guys. Meditation's good, yo. I didn't know how to do it. Couldn't turn my thoughts off. How did you? How did you? Uh, Start it like a YouTube, um, a little YouTube, YouTube help. tutorial. Are like you, you like, like a, you do it with them? Are you like a humming meditator or do no, you just like sit I'm, quietly? I'm just like a okay, I do sit in that position with my legs crossed. And yeah, just try to like meditation's relax. good, meditation is good as needed. Like, I always thought it was so like easy to do. Oh, yeah, just sitting there in silence, but not. Nah, it's hard for a lot of people to just sit there and just. Be with your thoughts. Turn your thoughts off. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Or turn them on, really. Nah, no, that's just you're the supposed whole point. to like. The whole point is turning them off. Yeah. Turn them off. Do you meditate? Are you doing it wrong? I might be. <laughs> yeah, you're, I feel you're, like you're literally not supposed to. I feel like think. once I start meditating, like when I sit and I'm just, you know, that's in my med- mode. That's not meditating. That's brainstorming. That's thinking. It's hard to turn the thing off, man. Like, uh, it's, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, no, it is. that's, but the whole that's point. why you yeah. should try like one of those like 
channels that you do it with. Okay, like, like they coach you. Do, mm-hmm. Can you do you have anyone you you prefer or no. suggest? Okay. No, I just try different people. Everyone has different. Do they have specific uh, uh, techniques and stuff? Do they have specific characteristics that make them like a good like meditation guide? No, I just Long like the hair, ones that tell you. <laughs> good weed. Yes. Long hair, kind of <laughs> like, kind of high, kind of high looking. No you know? shirt, no no shoes on. Okay, okay. I like it. I can see that. That's, All right. by the st- beach. that's stereotypical, right? Yeah. You gotta be a little. It's okay to be. I think it's okay to be stereotypical sometimes, like a little bit. Is it? For certain situations, like if I'm looking, if I'm trying to figure out somebody who can guide me, uh, you, you know, in my meditation, like a, a little bit, yeah, yeah, like it definitely, it definitely helps sells it through a little more. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, okay, like you about that life. All right, I'm gonna, I want to, I want to get like you. I want to get to a point where I just <laughs> don't give a fuck. Don't give a fuck. <laughs> like, I, got to. I don't think you need meditation for that. Eh. Nah. I'm sure it won't hurt. <laughs> yeah, I don't need medication. Just not give a fuck. Do we? Have, we didn't start the show. We're recording. <laughs> We're recording. So. What's popping, people? Welcome back to another episode of Say Less with Kaz. Yo. Lowski. What's the prop? And Rosie. What's up, Rosie? What's poppin'? What's going on, guys? I'm good, man. How uh, was your week? It's good. It was good. I had a birthday this week, which was nice. Did you? I nice. did have a birthday. When did you have a birthday? I had a birthday yesterday. Huh. Uh, I turned a ripe old age of 36 yesterday. Yeah. Ooh. Appreciate everybody who said the comments or a nice text or a DM or did you, did you get a lot of a lot of love? I think I got a lot of love. You know, it's 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 different. It gets I think once you hit a certain age, like the love gets a little, a little less. <laughs> it's a little. We all we all know the 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 milestone birthdays. Uh, that, thirty six is no. Thirty six is not a. That's not a milestone birthday. Like, all right, nigga, it's, another year. I, it's another year. I disagree. I'm very happy to be alive. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, thanks I mean, for yeah, the. But what's the milestone for thirty six? Like, yeah, yeah like, like, you're four more years no, away from I'm forty. Saying, why why would that matter on how many people say happy birthday? Nah, oh, it's not about how many yeah, people said happy about, birthday. Right. I just think it it it's to the point where. People don't go out of their way to be like, oh man, it's the it's the big three six. Until like, he, yeah, like. <laughs> see, to me, that's never mattered because birthdays to me is my favorite holiday. Like, oh, I don't care true. about holidays. Well, I that, love birthdays. Yeah, yeah. So then you're looking forward to it every fucking year. Yeah, I am. When we when it comes to guys, like, <laughs> no, you are. When it comes to guys, like, we care about the twenty with the twenty one, the twenty five, the thirty. And then it skips ten years to the forty. <laughs> that weird that like that thirty to years. forty. No one gives. No a one fuck cares. About. No more. Yo. No, like, it's just the countdown to forty. That thirtieth birthday it's is like, like I, the season finale of being just I'm ignorant. Just, right? yeah, like, like, now it's like once you pass thirty, it's like all right, motherfucker. Like what's. <laughs> Let's go to dinner. Let's just, just have a nice dinner. <laughs> have a nice dinner. Take your yeah. ass home. Shake your hands. And, like, you know, crack a few jokes. <laughs> take a couple shots. And then. You boom. know what's funny? So I hopped in the group chat like weeks ago. Yeah. And I was like, yo, I think I want to like do something for my birthday, right? And then, like, that, my no, good that friends. Whole, that whole, yeah. that whole attitude. But, Kaz, so I, know, I, know, I know we didn't get to do anything, yes. but yes. we did get you a little something. Oh, you got To celebrate. Happy birthday to come you. Come on, what is? Ha- yeah, come on. Let's celebrate. It's too long. It's too long. Turn it up. Oh, turn it up. Turn it up. Turn it up. Turn it up. Yeah. Happy birthday, Cassie. Aww. Happy birthday to yeah. you. You guys. And just so you guys yeah, know, these you. are tiny little delicious cupcakes. Thank you guys Best so much. Ever. Shout out Big by Melissa. I want to say, you guys are so, can, do, can I make a wish? And yeah, you have to. Yeah, yeah. Fuck you mean? Right. Just have Fuck it fire for, for fun? <laughs> right. A fire hazard. Right. <laughs> we wish you many blessings on this year. Let him. I'm just all right, wishing well, don't, right, I'm don't, praying don't, over okay, him. Well, don't, God damn don't it. pray over someone who's <laughs> 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 You're not supposed to pray over someone who's Why not? It, that's not they a thing, bro. They don't even know. They're in their no, own world. That, that messes up Jesus. the Feng Shui and the you frequency. Pr- are you supposed to pray over? I mean, no, no, pray. I made that up. She prays. She's praying over you. I'm like, my nigga, stop, don't do that. <laughs> a birthday wish is, is basically just a remixed prayer, though, right? It, is. It's, uh, it don't go to the same person. Yeah. <laughs> no, wait, does it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, what are you think, wishing to? Done. I'm, I'm thinking, you know, I'm not gonna say what I was wishing to, but I figured you're not you know, supposed to say what you wish to. I, fig- I figured like there's an HR when you get the when the wishes go up there. It's like this is a wish or a prayer. It's like oh, I gotta go. I'm not even gonna hold you. Every, birthday wish, every birthday, birthday wish, wish. Expedite it. Every birthday wish hits the ceiling and just that's it. 
I don't know anybody who has actually made a birthday wish to see if that shit has actually come true. It's like it's called manifestation. When you bro. when you That's start, different. what if like every time you just sat and just like talked to yourself, right? Like the thoughts go to like eight different people. It's like okay, here's Buddha, here's Jesus, here's a genie, yeah. here's uh, I'll take it. <laughs> like, it's like oh, this is mine, I'll this take is mine. It, I'll I'll take take it. It. like this is the wish, sir. Yeah, this, this, wish. this is genie problems. She's like here, okay. She only got one. two more. She, she's running out. <laughs> <laughs> That's why after your third birthday is a wrap. That's probably. why the genie always got his clothes off because he's always going on vacation. He only gets three wishes. You know what I mean? Bro, and then okay, he's yeah, out. I, I don't know where this comes from. Yeah, I don't like, even know what that nah. meant. We, we, we were just, we were just talking reason, about the birthday wishes. I understood. You understood though, right? <laughs> I understood. Because well, you meditate now, that's why. You know, yeah, I feel like I feel like the people who make lots of prayers, like the people you pray to, look like they're working really hard. Like Jesus, like Buddha, all those guys, they look like they boost to the ground like prayer. Answerers. I think the niggas like like the, like the Bible says like the niggas are just in the robe, yeah, sitting somewhere with their legs crossed and just like mentally Meditate. going through it's like okay, this, this is important, this is not important. It's like oh, I gotta work in mysterious ways tonight. Right, yeah, like, fuck, <laughs> fuck that nigga, she deserved that. All right, cool. I'm not answering that shit. It's the fifth time he hit me. Like this is the fifth time he hit me. <laughs> but <it's, laughs> if he don't stop I fucking me. this. <laughs> like he's like nigga, I, I, I heard I heard your prayer. Yeah, every year I've heard the same oh birthday wish. God. I appreciate, and I'm not granting it. But yeah, you know. have you have you had big boy Melissa? What's up? Have you had make big boy Melissa? Oh yeah, I love, my I favorite love big little tiny fact, love... bite size mm. delicious little things ever. Yeah. You can't have too many. Mm. You can't because they're bite Let me size. See. Let me mm -hmm. see. Just have a little smidge. But, um, it's the perfect little snack. Thank you guys so much. This is very, very kind. Um, appreciate all the birthday wishes. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm smacking on your ear. Sorry. <laughs> Blame being by Melissa. Let me put my, my fat face on my wall. <laughs> oh, I like this. That sounds good, right? Damn, I feel like I'm in a studio with a rapper. You are. Hold on. It's, it's, the, it's the what is it? He's about to drop a, this, this is the voicemail. The voicemail the voice. Mail. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, Lo was like, We got your phone tap. No, to come through. That's, That's why I did last week. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? You see the time it is? Where have you been? God damn. But, um, Those nah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Really, really kind. Uh, birthdays are, are weird, man. Like, especially for men. You know, like, I was telling my girl the other day, I was like, We don't really. She was like, well, what are you doing for Kai's birthday? I'm like, that nigga don't give a fuck. <laughs> that's a fact. She was like, that's so rude. I'm like, he does I not really care. Don't. But the like, thing is, here, here's he doesn't, the thing. But he's never, he's no. never really had. Right. Here's the thing, though. That's the thing. There's people that don't give a fuck about their birthdays. But if you do something, they really appreciate it. Of course. Yeah. So it's See, like, like, you, no, can't, that, you can't a, leave it up to people that, that say they don't care because they're never going to plan no, anything. that's a different theory because, mm. like, I don't know if, I, if I didn't get my surprise party... I've just been in the Sahara smoking. Yeah. We threw at least five of them joints over the years. Bruh, are <laughs> like, you even surprised anymore? <laughs> no, no, you know what it is? Like, I, don't, I, don't, I never cared, but it's cool. Now it's yeah. just like, oh, okay, all right, thanks. Yeah. Uh, and then, like, but it's not like it's appreciative, but I can go without. Mm. Remember your first surprise birthday party? What? The at your house? No, just do you just remember your first one? Oh, oh like nah. the feeling? I think that was the first one I ever had. What, was it, what did it feel like? What does it feel like when you like walk in? No, I've never I'm, had no, a surprise saying, party. I'm You've saying. never had a surprise party? No, somebody throw me one this year. Thank You've you. You've never had them a surprise uh -oh. party? No, that's shit. crazy because I've probably thrown like eight. I feel like you have, right? That's <laughs> for that's people. Shocking. No, she had a birthday party. Oh yeah. No, I'm saying I've thrown for other people. No, I'm I've saying, I'm saying you've shit. had birthday parties. Oh yeah, I throw I throw my own parties. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I could care less. Because women plan, you know. The reason why the reason why guys get more surprise parties is because like we don't plan shit. Like we just a lot of usually. You just kind of, you know, nice dinner would be nice. No, it's just going to be like, oh, yo, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. What you want to do tonight? Uh, yeah, we can go to, you know, Ruth Chris. Or, mm. you know, we can, yeah, I end up at the same bar. fucking club. Nice steak. You know, know what I'm saying? get a steak and that's fine. But nah, there's definitely a small part of me this year was like, I kind of want to do her rat shit one time. <laughs> <laughs> and then like the, a week later, you were just like, I'm cool. Yeah, I was. I was. But I we know. still we still got the weekend, baby. So who yeah, knows? We yeah. That's why I said we should go to an arcade or something. Yeah, we'll do barcade we do, or some yeah, we shit. We could go bowling. Do some, some shit. shit. Hey, we can do bowling. Bro. I could, I could, I could, I could all in the same week. I could dust off my bottle popping shoes and <laughs> for what one time. What shoes are those? Bottle popping shoes? You don't have your own bottle popping shoes? Like <laughs> shoes that you wear when you're going to... Spend a good grip. Uh, no. <laughs> Not Air Force time. Ones? No. <laughs> I don't know. Which one? <laughs> I mean... Which one am I doing? I don't know. Like, it's it's nice sneakers, but it's not the brand, brand new joints, because you know you're going to get, you know, 
there's gonna be some liquor spilled on them. Well, if it's my birthday, that means I probably have. I got a. You, you already know, going somebody, in. Somebody got me some shit. For yeah. You're going in knowing like these these are one night yeah, wears. Somebody <laughs> got me some shit, so I might as well just you know duck them off. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, but it's just the birthday thing now that we're getting older. It's just like it's appreciative. Very appreciative. It's not needed. It's uh, you know it's respected. And it also depends on who you're with and who who's doing. I what hear for you, you Lo. True. But fuck all that. Show me all the love on my birthday. Well, yes. you're young and you're a female. Give me so, yeah, surprises. Yeah. Do a party. Take y'all me like, out to the bar. Do, do y'all want attention. Y'all want bitch, bad bitch. It's your birthday as for the month. Like, that's what I said. No, I'm not. That's, that's what y'all want. I don't want we all are. that. I just want all my friends in one room. I want exactly what I did this year. Your birthday party was lit this That's year. That's exactly I go, oh, what I wanted. It was nice. I wanted all my people in one room. Super lit. That's Appreciate it. that, man. It was a good time. We should have had some games and shit. That's all I was missing. Was nah, niggas too drunk for that. Some and it was too dark. <laughs> <laughs> it was way too dark. I know. Next year, I'm going to definitely have another, like, a theme party. Yeah. yeah Rose, Rosie's Adventures is, like, that's going to be a brand name in a few years. Like, she's just going to be on some motherfucking... Uh, the challenge type shit where she just does puzzles and <laughs> travels. <laughs> like, Rent a house out. There's clues everywhere. Word, I'm like, Murder this, mystery. This, this is Rosie's dream life right now. Just traveling yeah. and playing fucking grown ass games. <laughs> now see like puzzles. that type of shit. I love it. That type of shit is fun. Oh yeah. Because if it's like if it's Rosie like if you know Rosie you know her steez. You know mm. she's a big ass kid. She wants to do some fun ratchet uh, just ignorant shit, but yeah. she wants to be around the people she loves. Not yes. with the randoms. So yes. that's why it's always good going to Rosie's yeah, party. Yeah, questionable and... plus ones. Word. Word. Yeah, we don't she, do that. She would definitely her... press you about her plus yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She'd be like, this is motherfucker. Yeah, take them with you when you leave. I don't want no <laughs> smoke. Ah, uh, damn. I feel like there's a lot we need to catch up on that we haven't caught up on in a minute. Uh, are we good? You good? My, my fault. Um, damn. So a lot of things have happened in the past week. Uh, All-Star Weekend took place. Um, <clears throat> it was the lowest rated the all-star halftime show took place the halftime well. show took place we'll get to that also <laughs> no one cares no, literally no one cares about the that thirst. oh my god um, wow yo Great. so this was like all right, so the thing about my birthday, right, is that it always falls around, like, All-Star Weekend. So if it's a good one, it's a good city, you know what I'm saying? You like, make the trip. I feel like it's a, I'm a little bit more hyped to make the trip. Gotcha. This year was... Nigga saw that location said, nope. Salt Lake City. So here's the Everybody. thing, right? Like, you know, I'll, 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 this, there was a little intrigue there. I'm like, I get it. Like... Right. What's his face? What they have? Uh, uh, what's that film for? They have Sundance, oh, Sundance down there. So I'm yeah. like, okay, like I'm sure. But see, Sundance makes sense, right? For that kind of city, right? That makes complete sense. There's no I've hate. been to Salt Lake City for fun. Yeah, that, how, how was you Salt would, Lake you City? Would, you boy. <laughs> well, they have this. Okay, so they have the Salt Flats out there. Okay, what's the where salt, it's what's literally this, what's the Salt Flats. It's just it's the Salt Flats. It's just this white. I'll show you. I'll show you videos. It's mm. all white. It's where they do all like the car commercials and like speed car racing commercials because okay. it's just this. Big as just sand, white sand, mm. oh, okay. and it's salt, and it's just all white, and it and goes it looks for like miles. Snow. It's so fucking dope. Uh. So you just go out there and you just drive fast, do donuts. Oh, you rent cars and just go out there and just get to Jeeps, it. whatever you got. Okay. Fun. That's that's fun. A, okay, that sounds fun. That sounds it's fun. It's fun as shit. So we did that. It seems and like what was it? Rosie was, would find that. Was that the end of Four Brothers? <laughs> Never seen the end of Four Brothers when uh? I don't, I don't you remember know. with Mark Wahlberg when he's w w walking to beat the guy up in the snow in the long ass road. Well, not snow. <laughs> and I know it's not snow, but did it look like it? Y'all never I'll seen Four you. Brothers? Yeah, but I don't remember. You don't remember, remember, you don't remember the like last? It wasn't like my, the fight a scene? movie that I remember. Y'all seen Four Brothers before, right? The end when Mark Wahlberg is gonna go beat up the dude that killed their mom. All I remember is when they, their little brother got got shot in front yeah. of the house. That's yeah. the only thing I remember. The little the little punk kid. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I feel that to got, say. Yeah, Salt Lake City. Always the troubled child that oh, dies in those man. movies. Always. Salt Lake City. I say all that to say I went randomly one year, and. Surprisingly, uh -huh. I encountered like four Dominicans. Yeah. Like my Uber driver was Dominican. The person at the hotel was Dominican. Yeah. I was Wait, like, the person working at the hotel was yeah. Dominican? Well, that you was, notice, that's you know, not shocking. You notice, shocking. But you notice 50% of the Dominicans she's met are world workers. <laughs> but, but, but not only <laughs> like, that. What was my car driver? But not, only that, like, yeah. but not only that, why are y'all here? I was like, what kind of pr witness protection program are y'all in? The fuck? Because they were all from like Jersey. So I'm like, what oh, y'all yeah, doing here? They was definitely running from the law. And I was like, never mind, I'm mm. my business. It was definitely so. Running from the law. What I meant to say is like the population was like a little bit Spanish, but mostly white. White folks. Mormons. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, you know, it's Mormonville. Yeah. No, but yeah. what do you expect? 
I mean, there's I didn't the know weeds. what to expect. So here's the thing. I'm being all star weekend is there. Weed's not legal in Utah. I think there's drinking laws. I think you got to close at like at 12. One, one th there was a certain oh. time. What was the liquor laws down there? You no, know. you couldn't have two different drinks in front of you. Really? What? I do remember that. That's now. crazy. Went to a bar and if it was like a beer and a shot, they wouldn't serve it to you. You had to wow. drink the beer first or take the shot first and then they'll bring you the next one. So I was like, all right, so let me get two what? beers or like, let me get two shots. Yeah. She's like, oh, that we can do. I'm like, that's fucking stupid. That's so stupid. <laughs> <I don't understand. laughs> that's ridiculous. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that's, that's OD. I mean, that's what Charles, Charles Barkley said. Yo, these people are really going to heaven because they're no, like, you, <laughs> can't do no, yo, you can't do shit. nothing in this like, yeah, Charles and Shaq were like, yo, we didn't, I've never ordered so much room service mm. ever. And he was like, yo, we just stayed inside the hotel. Yeah. And you, and now you're not even hearing about anybody getting in trouble. Because usually well, during All-Star Weekend, shit. yeah, that, but that's that's my point. Usually during All-Star Weekend, you Do you think hear, they're doing that on purpose? What? You know, just going to whack cities just to Bro, avoid... they're going to Indianapolis next year. Bro, I was about to say, like, they're in Indianapolis then Milwaukee, next year. Now Milwaukee's trying to make a bid for 2025, I think. Bruh. But meanwhile, that uh, Vegas has uh, the Super Bowl next year. As they should. As they yeah. should. I, 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 Vegas I don't having the Super Bowl is... Yeah. It's going to be dangerous. <laughs> it's going to be crazy. Oh, my God. Like, I still, like... I'm scared. I wasn't there, but I feel like anytime I talk to somebody that had that was at NBA All Star Weekend, they're in Las in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. It's like those Vietnam sort of like montages where they just like look off into space and they hear like bombs exploding and like just having terrible flashbacks. Like it's gonna take a lot for the NBA to go so back. Look, these to... are the flats. Oh, okay. All right, that, well, that looks like sand. It's, it's, it's like salt. Though. Oh, it's really okay. salt because when you get there, like your Is eyes burn. Are you wearing a halter top? I was okay. about to say, that, you do look very Coachella-ish. Like, if I didn't right. know better. Isn't it cold out there? No, it's, it was hot. It was summer. Oh, I didn't know Utah had a summer. Wow. They get... I mean, yeah. Okay, let's not take it too serious. Yes, I know. Yeah, uh, but I say all that to say, uh, All-Star <laughs> Weekend uh, just took place in um, uh, Salt Lake City, Utah. Uh, the lowest rated All-Star game in 20 years. Nobody gave a fuck. The players didn't give a fuck. The fans didn't really give a fuck. Nobody wanted to be there, bro. The, the only person that really, really, really wanted to be in Salt Lake City, Utah, was a white boy named Mac McClung. <laughs> Who the fuck it, is it, that? It, 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 it's, Who the fuck it, is that? He wanted, he wanted dunk on Mac McClung, the, the, the newest. I apologize. My good, so the story of Mac I McClung. I haven't been watching. <laughs> this is Mac McClung. Mac McClung has... Uh, uh, had lots of prominence through Instagram, YouTube, uh, TikTok, one of the most famous uh, high school players in the nation for many years. Um, he went to Georgetown for a few years, transferred to Texas Tech, uh, I think was undrafted in the NBA, played some summer league ball, but he was a name. Like, he was a guy who, a white boy with hella bunnies, you know? And uh, initially, he uh, he was a G, he was set to be the first G-leaguer to perform in the slam dunk contest. The Philadelphia 76ers signed him to a two-way contract the week before. Uh, so he goes from being in the G-league a couple of weeks ago to having an incredible slam dunk contest and being one of them, the new famous white boys in the NBA, here's the kicker. Does he look like a serial killer. Let me look him. He does not look like a. He's a. He's a. He's a. He's a pleasant looking white boy. Like he looks he like. Looks a, very, he looks very nice. All American. You he know what I'm very, saying? Like yeah. good sounds, jawline. Sounds serial killer. -ish. I mean, uh, he's, he's Craigslist killer. Nah, you'd like you. Mike, Mc, Mike Mac McClung. M A C M C C L U N G. He looks like you. He'll, he'll he'll shovel your driveway for free. For, for sure. He like <laughs> he looks like a boy scout. He looks like a boy scout. <laughs> not, he does. But though. here's the kicker you know who his cousin is oh. Riff Raff <laughs> the rapper yes Riff Raff bird on a wire Riff Raff colored hair before Takashi 6 ix 9 Riff so Raff so he's from Florida they're cousins no so uh, Mac McClung I think is from Delaware or Pennsylvania somewhere in Delaware somewhere in that area Riff but Raff being his cousin makes sense now doesn't it it makes mm. sense. The funny thing is, I first saw Mac McClung when Riff Raff was, like, plugging him in high school. He was like, yo, this is my cousin. He's the next, uh, ah, ah, ah. You know what I'm saying? And oh, he's you. from Kingsport, Tennessee. Oh, Kingsport, who? Riff Raff? Mac. Oh, Mac McClung. Okay, well, there you go. But he played basketball in some area in Pennsylvania. Anyway, whatever. Not important. The important thing is, uh, you know, went from having 90,000 followers before the slam dunk contest 
Now has a million followers on Instagram. How did had a ton? Of, I think he got a Puma shoe deal. Definitely got a Puma shoe deal. He uh, he, he introduced edited. Post Malone at the All Star game As before the game. As he should, you know. Uh, <laughs> and a lot of people have been saying that the not just the All Star weekend was weak, but you know the slam dunk concerts have been weak. And if you talk to anybody who was really into All Star weekend this year, they were just going in saying like, "Oh my God, another." Slam dunk contest with no stars uh -huh. and all this is going to be booty and right. blah, blah, blah. Right. And here comes this little white boy. My only steals problem. Steals the show. My only problem. Yeah. So was like his own. What? <laughs> my only problem. A white boy from Tennessee. Yeah. <clears throat> I got to say, cheers. And a black quarterback won the Super Bowl. <laughs> right, like, how, do you, how do you change? Up is down, left is right. Yeah, like we were, we, were, we were good. But no, but... If anything, that, you know, if I could make an observation about All-Star, there's, there's no flair. You could see how the players are talking about it. You can right. see their, their their mood and their persona. Like, I'm they just didn't the want to. I'll tell you, you will see the dunk. I'm going to put the phone away. Yeah. Uh, they'll, uh, th I mean, what was cool, the draft before the game, that was cool. That was entertaining, but yeah. it wasn't like, you know, when I'm talking about, like, it being boring. I'm talking about more so like just the gameplay and the dunk contest. Yeah, it was a layup. It was a glorified yeah, layup. Glorified it was lab. like no one was like, you know, remember when they played in um in DC? Yeah. And Kobe and uh, Marbury. And oh, all classic. Of, they were going classic. back and forth. Or even the one in New York. Yeah. When uh, I, I forgot who missed the shot, but like remember those games where they really, really were like, nah, yeah. fuck that. Like that's before this the, for rights. Like this was, is bragging rights. That's yeah. before everything got soft. I get, uh, Okay, the softness I could see a little bit, Still, right? Everybody saw. I feel like you know, Everybody's a, a lot of these guys in the NBA, they've been playing together since a lot. They've seen a lot of each other for the past what 12, 13 years of their life. I think back when we were watching those competitive All Star games with the Kobe's, the Marbury's, the Iversons, like you know, Jordans, all these type of people, like. A lot of times, this is their first time matching up against, you know, another superstar at their position in the in a whole other conference that they don't play in and, and, and stuff like that. Like, you know, people used to take pride in being like, yo, the West is the best conference or, you know, you know, I'm Jordan and like I just run the East. Or I'm LeBron and I just run the East, you know, and it's. It's kind of shown in the play, man. Like, nobody wants to get hurt. You Shit's know what I'm saying? Weak. It's a little weak. Shit's weak. It's a little weak. Like, I mean, it's not a little weak. It, it, it's, it's a lot of weak. It's, it's completely weak. It's, yeah. It's a lot of you weak. You know, again, I understand players that, you know, have gotten injured before All-Star Weekend. And, mm -hmm. you know, KD was injured. I think Steph is injured as well. Yeah. And people want to sit out and just, you know, make sure... Because you got 24 to 26 games left for the regular season. So yeah. You, and there's a lot of teams that are in play in or... Fighting for it, for play sure. It, you know what I mean? So it's like one injury can fuck up an entire injury, season, right? Year, so, so I get it. And then KD's coming, you know, making his debut with the Suns, hopefully very soon. And Curry's got to be, you know, on point. And then LeBron got injured at the, during, game, yeah, yeah, at the yeah. game. So like there are very, there are different variables that the, the guys that we watched coming up really weren't worried about. Mm -hmm. But now it's just like I think they're thinking too much. Like, is it worth it? Yeah. Do we have to go as hard when? You know, this next half of the season is so important. And then we have to hear the narrative of like, well, they shouldn't have went so hard in the yeah. All-Star game. Maybe they shouldn't have played and this, that, and third. So it's like, damn if you do, damn if you don't. Yeah, I get it. I think with them, it's it's it, it makes perfect sense why you wouldn't play hard. But, like, you would go. The only thing that is weird with me is, like, people could go so hard just to be named an All-Star. Yeah. And, like, people could get so hard about, like, being snubbed or being left off the team or whatever. Yeah. And then you get there and you're not even playing. Like, it's... it's no one's going hard or no one's like... It's not even fun to watch, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I think that the fix, the per to me, the perfect fix to the All-Star game is just invite more players to play. Not even that. Like, just, just go back to those regular formats. Go back to East versus West. Mm. Go back to the home jerseys and away jerseys. Mm -hmm. Go back to all that shit where it was fun, it was cool to watch. It wasn't so like, oh, Team LeBron and Team Kevin Durant. No, my nigga. Like, yeah. let these people pick this is the East, East and, West. and this is the West. Why right. did they change now, that? I hate I mean, that. I don't know. I don't know. I think they wanted to get more fan participation. I think they were already worried about, like, so some of the... So how was for East versus West? Yeah, so... For players. Here's the thing. There was also the players that felt like, you know, if you're having your contract incentives 
uh, dependent on if you make the All Star game or not. And you know, you leave it in the fans' hands. And yeah. social media is so prevalent. You could like we've seen it already. Like we've seen people like the Zaza Pachulia just because he plays for the Golden State Warriors and they're hella popular get like a zillion like all-star votes you know what i'm saying and almost made the game over somebody who truly deserves it so i don't know who zaza patrulli exactly right? so that sounds like an italian dish so i understand I, why they had like the coach's vote and the player's vote no, zaza patrulli does sound no, delicious it's just, it's just sounds good something yeah. about that patrulli sounds, like, sounds like, like, mm. like red sauce too zaza patrulli yeah, mm. zaza patrulli mm. red sauce yeah, or white sauce red, red, red. Like, red. No, nah, red sauce. Nah, we have this <laughs> we, have, we have this zaza patrulli Truly, yeah, yeah, a special, a special this evening, <laughs> flew and fresh from one. Wow, just disrespect the man. man. That name sounds I want to go shit. back to Eastern West. He sounds delicious, man. yo. Pause. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all said it, not well, me. Man. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, I That's think... That's what made it competitive. Nobody cares about Team Durant and Team LeBron. Yeah, it was weird. Bro, did you see the half show? The, so let's talk about the halftime show. I know that. you watched the halftime show. It was very Nigerian in that bitch. Yes, sir. I loved Thames. It. Yes, sir. Burner Boy. Mm -hmm. Rema. I like Post Malone. I like Posty. Post though. Malone. Posty performed? gets a bad rap. Yeah, he opened the show. He opened it. Yeah. Didn't see it. Allegedly, he's from. <laughs> I think he lives in Utah or something. <laughs> He brought 21 Savage. I right? like Posty, though. I like Posty. I, Posty. I think Posty gets a bad rap, yo. People don't like that I like Posty because he drinks, like, you know, Coors Light and he's his white boy. Look right? at him. Right. I like him. I think, no, I'm not saying that. I like his Look music, too. I think it's because he came in Smoked rapping. Smoked cigarettes on stage. And then, you know, once he got popping, and that happens a lot of times. You know, we're very... Our, our our rap fan base and you know the journals of the world that you know cover this you entire come thing. Here, you gotta stay here. And it's like here. you you a club vulture, son. What you know did what him I'm and Twenty One like, do? Can't leave. Can uh, uh, rock star. Oh, rock star. like a rock star. I mean, overall, Twenty One. Just kidding. Oh shit. Sorry. Overall, you're cool, man. You're crazy. Sorry, my fault. Go ahead, love. My bad. You gotta admit that shit sounds fun as hell. Just, just, just You're say something. You're crazy. <laughs> my bad, bro. Go ahead. I just can't even hear myself. Bro. <laughs> no, go ahead. Let's talk about Posty, man. No, cool. No, it, it was it was what it was from yeah. what it was for where it was. So it's just like I didn't have too many expectations. Burner Boy being there and Tim's being there to me was utterly weird. I mean, weird. I'm glad they got that look. It felt like they were fighting against the sound and the music, and you know they mm. did what they did, and it's great to see them in that capacity. But nah, now nah, you heard what Lil Duval like said. Hmm? I didn't say I didn't like it. I just, I, I it just didn't match. I didn't, I didn't think it was a, a good fit. You heard what Lil Duval said on uh, Instagram? He said Afrobeats is the death of hip hop, and I don't even know what the fuck he means by that. But Lil, du it's taking over. Lil Duval has said a lot of crazy ass shit, hey, even man. about his daughter and all that other shit. So uh, that's the least that I'm worried about uh, about what he thinks about Afrobeats. Uh, 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 nothing, bro. His document is right there. He said it. So uh, Lil Duval, man, he's a comedian. So I look at what he says with a grain of salt. But it definitely was an interesting take. Well, nothing funny about that shit. It man. was definitely an interesting take to say that uh, a, a genre of of black music is gonna overtake another genre well, of black no, music. No, I don't like, believe that because that's, weird. that's yeah. two different takes. That's two different like uh, opinions. Like the people that listen that's to like hip hop saying might salsa not. is gonna take over bachata. Not right? even. <laughs> no, it's like saying salsa is gonna take over. Bad Bunny or Reggaeton yeah, or something yeah, yeah. where it's like you can't because the people that like this it's don't in the same care Venn about diagram, that. Like, right? Unless like they're out listening to it, like they're not. It's not gonna take over. Ooh. It's not. It's what, like what is it killing? Like what is Afrobeats killing? I don't know. I think uh, here's one thing about Afrobeats. What's it's not killing is hip hop performances, though. Like outside of Burner Boy and maybe like a few other folks, like. A lot of Afrobeats motherfuckers can't perform for shit. Uh, <laughs> no, I like I like Davido. The, I like Davido too. Davido, Dave. yeah. Davido, Davido. I like Davido. I always oh, sorry for butchering your name. Nah, but you're good. Good performer. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of them. Is it's just they they too cool, man. Like it's just the. Uh, I mean, you're like, talking about not, one person. Not, 
Am I? I'm trying, trying, I'm trying to dance around no, it without you're, you're necessarily. You're talking about one person. No, let's, let's, he's yeah. trash. He's trash. That's, that's not, not, that's not let's, all of them. Most of them can dance. Let's, let's, not them say, let's not say they too cool because a lot of our hip hop. Whiz Kid is too cool sometimes when he's on stage, bro. It's like, bro, you got to give me something. A lot you got to pull a rabbit out your hat. You got to bust a moonwalk. Something, bro. Tell a joke. Tell a joke. Bust a one, two. A lot of our hip hop performers are fucking too cool or whack at performance. Yeah, but you see how you see how they more praise. I give them more praise. At least they show. have dance music. Yeah, at least right. where the crowd can dance. With hip hop, sometimes like we just we just there. sitting and listening and mm. looking at you. And I'm like, I could have done this at home. Yeah, but I know what I'm. If I go to an Afro Beach function or whatever the case is, I know what I'm going for when I know what I'm getting. Yeah. If I go to a hip hop concert, I know concert, that the women are gonna be dancing. Yes, yeah, they are. Yeah, but Ooh. I don't. I don't think. I don't think any of that thing has. I don't think one has to do with the other. So I, I think that I, little I dude ball shit. It was a weird take. It was a weird take to have. Like I just never thought like. How does that even you, ha- like? How does that? How do they get in the same room? Yeah, like nobody He's just ever talking just for this, so we could talk about it. Of course, but you know, I love good, I love good podcast podcast fodder. So thank you, Lil Duval. I'm mad at that. I just thought it was weird, man. Like I've never, you know, like as it was big stupid. it was as, stupid as big as Afro beats, Afro pop, whatever you call it, has gotten big. I don't think we've ever said like, oh, it's, it's so big, like we're not gonna have a need for. A completely other version of this music, like like they can't coexist together. Like I don't understand. That was dumb. It didn't make no sense, and I don't. There like was it. no correlation at all into what he was trying to say, and there's no conversation to have mm. with what he's trying to say. Is there's, he saying it because there's no nugget? But he did say he did say hip hop as we know it. He didn't what say like hip hop. But, but what does that even mean? That's what people say when like they just want to feel like they write in a few years. You know what I'm saying? Like when you add as we know it at the end of a statement. It gives you a lot of room to be like, see, I told y'all, like, as we know it, yeah. it's different. So what, like, in five years, it's only going to be Afrobeats and hip-hop's going to be dead? Yo, if somebody would have said... After us just celebrating 50 years of <laughs> hip-hop, how long has Afrobeats been out? So here's the thing. I don't think he said hip-hop will be dead. He said it'll change as we know it. He said it's the death of hip-hop as we know it. Oh, uh, okay. He's, he's the death of hip-hop as he, we know it. He literally okay. said that. Okay, damn, my bad. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, what, what are you trying to say? Like, did, like, we have a time limit on what's going on with hip-hop when we just celebrated 50 years? of what this shit has been. Yeah, but I, I feel like that's the weird thing. Like, nobody said that about any other genre that's come on. You know what I'm saying? Like It's only hit the hip-hop has the target on their back? Right. I, I just think weird. he felt a way, honestly, that Burnable was headlining. Yeah. So what? That's, I'm and saying Salt that's, City, I feel Utah. like he felt a way because he's probably like, yeah, you you it should have been Drake, it should have been this, it should have been that. You could have aimed that bullet at Post Malone. What the fuck? Yeah. What the fuck? Burnable got yeah. to do with this. Shout, but, shout out Posty. Yeah, yeah Posty. Posty. <laughs> Posty, I love you, but Posty, it's not like Posty got new music out. Mm. You don't need new music. You got catalog. Yeah. I, I understand yeah, that. You got but a like, catalog, you're good. That's mm-hmm. random to be like, oh, and Post Malone. It's mm. not because when you see like U2 or you see like Guns N' Roses, when you see all them motherfuckers mm-hmm. performing at random, you know, Super Bowls and, mm-hmm. yeah. you know, Grammy Awards. Them niggas ain't released music Ooh, in 20, Posty 25 years. Posty would be years. A, good, a good Super Bowl house. No, yo, no, it wouldn't. I, I think he would. No, I think his features and everybody he'd bring out and stuff. He's not that. He's not big enough. That was a good. That's mm-hmm. a good ass muffin. I just ate. It was a peanut butter and jelly. It's a cupcake. God damn. Oh, that's a cupcake. That's cupcake. My bad. That's your rack. <laughs> cupcakes that's your rack. are muffins with frosting. Are cupcakes masculine, yo? Is it masculine to eat a cupcake? What? You're a cupcake. You mean food? You soft in the to middle. Eat cupcakes. You eat donuts. Is it? Is it questioning my black eat, you, masculinity? Hold on. Do you to eat, eat Boston some, cream donuts? Eat some Boston cream donuts. Like the ones with the I don't like. Inside. I don't like no filling in my in my donut in my baked goods. B. I like my baked goods to be nice and so you like fluffy the in the middle. The top. Do you eat ice cream? Uh, do I eat ice cream? I love ice cream. B. Oh man. Why are you talking like this? Because it's masculine, yo. No, it's not. It's oh, disgusting. Bro, eat what you want to eat. Wear what you want to wear. Mm. Date who Unless you want to hate. Banana. Impregnate who you want to impregnate. No, ever, you know, bro, if it's a banana, if it's an apple. Remember the banana. If it's a Krispy Kreme donut. You go. Okay. You can't repeat this. <laughs> All that masculine shit and, you know, men are being emasculated because of, you know, their women or how they dress or how they're perceived. It's yeah. just like embracing who they are and embracing their, you know, their sensitive side, their vulnerable side, which is what a lot of women want us to do or what the world wants us to do. So we're talking about Jonathan Majors on the cover of Ebony where mm. he was got uh, flowers and had the stuff. Flowers and and even though I think it was I think it was Iverson did that shit. It was Iverson on one shoe and I think it was like some anime character on another one. Right. Like it was like his favorite anime character or something like that. And there's people coming out the woodworks like, look at what they do with our, our masculine superstars. They always gotta 
Make oh, him is that feminine, the backlash ginger, he got? Ginger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. like, you know, make him... You, did you see it? I saw that he got backlash, but I didn't see the and actual no, and then backlash. He, and then he said, he was like, I always like to cause a ruckus, and that's the attitude you should have, because there's too many... There's too many stipulations of what we can dress like, what we can talk about, mm -hmm. how we can feel, when we're supposed to feel it, who we're supposed to feel it with. It's mm -hmm. just like a fucking checklist of you're not man enough if you check off all these boxes. And then then you go to the British Vogue cover with Rihanna and ASAP Rocky right after the Super Bowl. They bust out the geometry for that one. You saw like the breakdown that people had. I, was I, like, read that. <laughs> I did not read that shit. I was like trying to solve Chinese arithmetic. Like, yo, I can't believe Rihanna. He's like, look at him. Woman, in back. woman what? in front, man in back, full arms to the side, all this. Bro, all this. I'm just taking like... care of the kid. The, 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 the wife of the, you know, the wife is a billionaire. She just came off stage. She just announced her second pregnancy. Yeah, the moment is about her so asap clearly from what we've seen over the past past couple of years he doesn't mind taking a back seat doesn't mind supporting his wife doesn't mind being the second in subject you saw him at the super bowl screaming his lungs out as he should because if he wasn't then y'all would have a problem like see the black man's not holding the black woman down in the household <laughs> so it's damn if you do damn if you don't it's like if y'all not billionaires, if you don't have no kids... and if You don't you even not, need to be a billionaire for me saying. to be your biggest fan for being the mother of my children. I'm just saying, That's good like, enough. bro, take care of your household before you take care of an imaginary household that you're not a part of. Like, that's just how I, I just don't get it. It was just weird to see, like... Like, I mean, no, no offense to ASAP Rocky, but, like, I wasn't necessarily, like, looking at him as, like, the beacon of, like... Manliness, manliness. <laughs> in the first no, place. No I'm like, bullshit. I'm like, you mean the, the dude that made fashion, nigga? Like that yeah. dude? Was like, I mean, pretty, I mean, flocko. pretty flocko. I'm like, I don't. I mean, I don't know the nigga personally. First so I, don't, off, I don't know how the nigga move in the streets or how he does move. I, I mean, I'm sure I, the nigga is. If, if Rihanna's with him, I'm sure that he's. I'm about to say, I'm like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how much more masculine you can get by impregnating Rihanna. I think that's pretty mad. I think that's a pretty manly thing to do, you know? But it's just like, I'm sure he's <laughs> protecting and providing for that family. I think that's pretty mas masculine to do as well. What's, 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 a man, what's manly shit, Rosie? Like, mm. give me some manly shit. You, sh you should be an expert. <clears throat> she's probably more manly than the nigga she dates. Hey, yo. Uh, don't do that. Come on. Ooh, you, you're, you're, you're tough. Nah. You are body. You, I don't know. First of all, I don't see that soft if, side I, if I could be... Mm, see? If I could be tougher or like, if I feel like I it's could a push... Front. If I could... It's a what? front. You're, you're, it's a front. Rosie's not like. Oh yeah, it's, a, it's a whole front. I'm yeah. a lover girl. I'm soft as fuck. I mean, but if I, I feel like I could push a man around that I'm fucking with, I cannot fuck with you. That's weird. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, See, I not manly enough. I mean, I don't know. Is that like? Is, is it like a? Is it like a body mass thing? Is it like how they carry <laughs> themselves? You. No, I'm no. just asking. A body like what, mass? Like what? What immediately sh like screams wait, 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 out wait, wait, like wait, wait, masculinity? A body mass. That's the first thing she looks yeah, at. Like, she push a nigga around. Because she said if I could push him around. So what do you mean? Like if he's just like if I could run you. Like if I can. She means mentally, Like, bro. run you. Like, if mm. I can tell you what to do and you do it, it's yeah, like, ew, that's, fight that's, back. That's a mental thing. That's, that's weird. Yeah. So, all right. So like, fight back. Tell me, tell me what to do. There's ways to go about that, though, where it's like you can be a man and give pushback without being a pushover. Right? Explain. Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah from your perspective. Okay, so you're saying, like, uh, you, you want your, like, you, don't, you just don't want somebody that you could just tell whatever the fuck to do. That's you know what, what it sounds saying? like. That's what it sounds like yeah. you're trying. So how do you even like? So where is the where is the borderline? Where's the line where it's like, all right, I'm about to tell him what to do, and I hope he says something back because deep down inside, I need him to be a man and take the reins and do this shit. Mm -hmm. And then if you do it and it doesn't happen, like, well, the first time you let me talk crazy to you, it's a wrap. So you just there's no turning back after that. I just don't like that. I'm like I could just tell you whatever. Like, so what's what constitutes talking crazy? Yeah. I say crazy shit, and I've had men shit. Like, yo, you, you, who are you talking to? And I'm like, okay, yeah, fair, yeah. And to me, that's that's manly shit. Yeah, like where it's you, like, yo, I look like your mommy. I ain't one of your little friends. Who I you want talking your little to? Little friends, yo. <laughs> like you're not gonna be talking to me like I'm some my go, bitch. My go to my go to phrase is like, just please don't disrespect me. Like, uh, just please disrespect me. Like, that's, that is, that is my go-to line. Once I'm getting talked to crazy, I'm like, all right, like, please. It's, 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 it's a simple, it's a simple, just watch your mouth. Yeah, even it's watch your mouth. Yeah. That's simple, too, even simple. watch your mouth works. I'm like, like I'm not going to go too much into it, but it's simple, like, yo, watch your mouth, bro. 
Because <laughs> it's like if you if you want to keep going there, then we're good. it's gonna be. We'll a get there, and we'll then get it's there. Just then, not it's fun. Like, then it's like I can't take shit back. Yeah, you can't. So I'm like, yo, just watch your mouth. And then if she keeps going, I get silent. And then it's like, all right. Mm. Is that man, is that a manly way to respond? It the silent treatment. Silent after, treatment, after no. But you. watch your mouth is okay. Watch yeah. your mouth is like, oh shit. I'm like, yo, bro. Let me shut the fuck up. And, and, and it's not like you raise your voice when you say it. Yeah. You, you say it and you look at them like, yo, watch your mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah nah, it's definitely that like, shit works. It's definitely. Then, really, I mean, be quiet. And, 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 it's not even how you roll your eyes. eyes. I be quiet. It's, it's the eye contact. <laughs> yo, watch your mouth. <laughs> Ass obsessed. I would do that so quick. <laughs> Watch your mouth. Yeah. Ass obsessed. I hope you don't add that snap of the finger nah, in there. Nah. That's Watch your mouth. But I, yeah, I do. But I do. I do give the long stare. Yeah. It's the eye contact. Yeah, like you I'm, I'm looking like, dead in your eyes. You gotta look in their soul, but like, yo, please watch your mouth. And then I'll just like, all right, go back to doing whatever. I'm yeah. You lose. You lose any. You lose any. Uh, any. Uh, what's the word? Um, you lose any leverage once you yell. Give right, what me you get an out example of, like, your... of what people say is manly. Like things, like? like give me examples of what people say are like, oh, this is a manly thing. Or, like, well, watch your mouth. No, no, no. Like for example, like when so you the Jonathan what are Majors things, thing, right? So, what was not manly about that? So I guess because he had flowers in his hand and his shirt was all off and he had like some long, his like legs. draping. His legs were crossed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was sitting in sort of like a. Uh, a uh, feminine a non, position. Yeah, masculine stance, I guess, but it's like... A non-nigga stance. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, does it, I don't know how much more nigga you want Jonathan Majors to get, though. Like, yeah. It's, it's oh, like yeah. you played a cowboy in one yeah. movie, you play a boxer, you play yeah. King the Conqueror. Yeah. Like, all he does is manly ass. Like, he's fucking jacked to the gills. I mean, having but three... But he might be like... Having what? three multi-million dollar deals and jobs is pretty fucking I mean, manly. I mean, I don't know, bro. Like, he's... They're kind of going to no. put the whole Marvel franchise on his back for the next, like, eight movies. But as soon as you put a pink jacket on a nigga's shoulders, oh, everything's out the window. Like, get the they fuck out They always do it here. to our black man. They ain't doing shit to our black man. It's you. It's not them. It's you. <laughs> I'm talking to you. It's like, for example, when I heard him speaking in that interview when he was, like, responding to the backlash, I was like, that's how he speaks. Yeah, yeah, it was I weird. I was like, I didn't expect that from him. He wasn't as as rugged as I thought he was, but then it's like, well, like he's Mike a thespian, Tyson. yo. Like, like yeah. Mike Tyson. Nah, that's true. He speaks, and you're like, but yeah. you're still scared of that motherfucker, and you still respect him. He, he definitely carries himself as a person who's, like, who's, who's one of the wires, like, oh, it's just missing. But, like, you need that for his greatness, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you hear him talk, he talks so fast, and he talks so, like... Mm -hmm. Jonathan Mayer. Yeah, yeah, I was like, Something, oh. Yeah, I didn't expect that to like, be his personality. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, And it, again, oh. it's, not, it's not manly enough. Like, it's not... Like, it's not that it's not... I mean, not, me it's personally, not it's, not, it's not my style. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I probably couldn't date him. I don't know. But Rocky, I guess the Rocky conversation is more fun to have, since, like, we know who he's in a relationship with. We know Rihanna just... You made her grand return to the, in to the world. In all fairness, Rihanna looks like she likes to be the dominant one anyway. Uh, she strikes me as very like... And that's their... That's, that's their, That's their, you know, dynamic. If that's, that's the case, that's like, fine. he looks like he's pretty laid back. Rihanna looks like she jokes around a lot and, mm -hmm. you know, talks a little shit. And, I mean, you can see that through her music. Yeah, Rocky's yeah, yeah. music probably is the personification of his personality. Yeah. Rocky's music is very, very laid back. Very cool, very swaggy. I'm sure that's how he is. I'm just that pretty. I'm right. Yeah, mm -hmm. like so. It's like even if that's their dynamic, that's their dynamic. Their, honestly, the funny thing is, I don't even. I'm not like a couples person. I don't like look at couples and be like, oh yeah, man, you I'm guys like, are kind of maybe. But like, you look at Rod, Rihanna and Rocky, it's just like, yeah, that tracks. Like <laughs> that, makes that, that makes sense. Like they both kind of have like the same sort of like street respect in the same way they have like the fashion world respect and the music respect but like Rihanna's just like way more bigger at it than Rocky is <laughs> like that's I mean, the only just, thing I, like, you can't it's every day it's a different conversation about you know who's who what's what they don't look good together then they look good it's like it's just so many but I get it that's just like the world we live in and we did it with Jay and Beyonce for a long time yeah you know we did it with T.I. and Tiny for a long time we did it with... Did we do it with T.I. and Tiny? A lot of people did it with Oh, Tiny. yeah, yeah. There, there was, there was yeah, some mean lot, folks about lot, Tiny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I remember. They're doing it with Jeezy and, and uh, his wife, who's Asian. They're doing it with... <clears throat> they're doing it with... with Jenna him, May, uh, Ella May. And it's just like, we're, we... I think a lot of people just put too many eyeballs, <laughs> despite them being public figures, yeah. which is, you know, a thing. But it's just like, 
were prying too much of like, why are they together? They don't look good together. I'm surprised they're together. I wonder how that works together. It's just like, bro, what, what does it matter? You're single. Somebody, why, put is a, not, why are you not working together with anybody? Somebody put a picture of Jeezy and, and I guess their, their, their child, yeah. and you know, he's Asian looking, and somebody put Soul Survivor, like S E O U L. I was funny. like, that's, mm. like oh, that's fucked up. And it's just like, mm. I get it. Like, I think the, the, the further we go, clever, but me, <laughs> the further we're going, like, am I going down for laughing? <laughs> Yo, the further no. we're, the further we're going, the meaner we're getting. It's, I'm like, bro, come on, guys. Like, yeah, oh, be be better, people. Yeah, and, and if anything, leave the babies out. Of leave it. the kids out. Leave like that kids. is leave the kids out. That is persona non grata. Like I will never talk crazy leave about the, leave, anybody, leave the kids even in out jest. Of it. Like, nah. Not my thing, but well, that, I'm not gonna be. But I'm that not, photo was funny. I'm so. not gonna be a hypocrite because when you know when Push did the shit with Drake, you yeah. thought it was hilarious. Cause well, because Drake was involved. He mentioned though. He mentioned Drake mentioned Push's wife. Mm -hmm. That's why I said when you bring the woman and kids into it, then I think anything is off limits. Yeah, I think that's kind of what set it off, and he, and he said that before. That's crazy that like yeah they still they still don't get along. <laughs> like. They still don't get along. Like, this entire thing. Like, they are still... Like, I'll still hear, like, a new Drake song, and I'll be like, that's a new bit of shuttle shot. <laughs> like, like, you started it. Like, like, don't get along. Like, you started it, bro. You know? Like, you know, you remember you started this? But. I feel like Push is a real one, though. He's like, nah, I'm good. Yeah. I ain't but gonna see, do no industry shit. But see, that's fine. That's literally fine. Like, if yeah, if we beefed, I don't have to... Dap and you for know, sure to make a collaboration and go to the club with you like yo my nigga we went to war you stay the fuck over there yeah I'm never I I'm stay the fuck over there and that's that I don't know if I ever want to hear a Pusha and Drake record would you want to hear a Pusha and Drake record I never really had the desire to before they started beefing I think a small part I mean they had you know I don't think it was a real record but I think like the clips are on like a very early version of a. Uh, a Room for Improvement record or something like that. This might have been... What, Drake was on it? Yeah, I forgot what it was called. I think, I'm for sure Malice was on that. God, was it called Easy to Please? I forget. The early Drake records was fire. I'm sorry. Hey. I love those. those. That was... God, I feel so fucking old. I can't believe that. Like, that was my era, Drake. It wasn't, it wasn't that long ago. <laughs> room was for it, Improvement? Was it 2008? Comeback season? Was it 2006? Was there a blog era? Whoa, that's like 14 years ago. <laughs> that was a long I know. time. I'm like, that's a whole that's a long time. Though. I mean, I get it, but it's like a 14 year old walk, high schooler. If a, four, if a person walked in right now and said, "I was born the day Drake's first mixtape dropped," he'd be probably big as hell. Yeah, right? That's a long I'm time. Just, I'm not gonna call myself old. I'm like, damn, I was a minute. They hooping uh, in high school. Bro. Time was crazy. Yeah, they're yeah. definitely in high school. They definitely like. They definitely follow Bronny James on Instagram. Bruh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Idol. But yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't. <laughs> to your, to your question, though, I don't want to see. I'd never want to see a Drake and Pusha record together. They, they make their music fine separately. Yeah, there's room for both. Yeah, the world deserves both, and we can just exist with both, not together. That's it. I feel like there's no, there's gonna be no choice. I don't think they'll ever be. I don't think that there's certain folks. Where I'm like, I'll, I can never say never. I'm like those two motherfuckers. We're never hearing them. <laughs> like, and on a record it's together. totally fucking fine. Like, yeah. bro, I'm, we're, I'm good on this side. You good on this side. Yeah. We can hear a couple shots being traded. And that's that. God damn. And keep it there. Keep it pushing. <laughs> you saw <laughs> what I did, did there. there. All right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, damn. Oh, what a man. week, though, man. Like, uh, it's crazy. It's crazy. I think you still uh you still hung up on celebrating that 36. I think so. That monumental milestone. It wasn't that monumental. <laughs> <laughs> it was definitely a molehill. It was definitely a molehill. <laughs> <laughs> People make mountains out of molehills. I make molehills out of mountains. I'm like, no, no, no. It was huge niche. Nah, a couple people made uh, some molehills um, or some mountains out of molehills with these uh this particular top 10 list. Ooh, I like that segue. A couple people Do made, that, boy. A couple people made mountains out of molehills. <laughs> Do that. Uh, Let's talk about this list. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this, this list has been, you know, talked about for a very, very last two, three, four weeks. Yeah. And everyone's had their very colorful, um, unwelcomed opinion. Big Jake. 
Let's talk about it, man. What we got? Um, what we got on this list? I know you're pulling out the lap tizzy. So you know, at the it's top fifty all time rappers, and you know, the, from fifty to you know fifty to ten. Okay. That's it, the, the, a lot of those people in that body of you know body of list was pretty pretty well deserved. I was just disappointed my man Jeezy wasn't in there, but you I mean, love Jeezy. He yeah, wasn't in there at all. Wasn't you there at all. Him. At all. Is he your goat? It's not my. I know my, who your my goat, goat is. I'll you, know, know. you know who my goat is. I just, I just, I just know you. He's one of my favorite rappers. Absolutely. Like, I love Jeezy. But I, I do think he that he definitely deserves a spot. Mm. Gucci's in there. Future's in there. Tip is in there. Um, Luda's in there. So I think, you know, I think amongst those, GZ definitely deserves a spot. But I think the biggest conversation that's been had over the last two weeks is the top 10 slot. Yeah. And so, Jake, um, if you would do the honors and letting us know. Yeah, pull up and pull up and, and, and sit next to this microphone real quick, Jake. It'll be from 10 to right here, buddy. 1. Come on with it. Which has caused a lot of ruckus. Ruckus. Oh, for the 36 Chambers. Oh. <laughs> so what you did there? Yeah, you know me. I got bars. What do um, we have? What do we have? So at 10, this is the highest ranking female rapper of all time, Nicki Minaj. Okay. Um, at 9, I know we had Snoop Dogg. At 8, one second. <laughs> Last name ever. First name, 8th greatest. greatest. Drake. Okay. Number seven, his predecessor, Lil Wayne. Lil Ooh. Wayne. Sorry, white. Number six, Notorious. Piaggi. Mm. Number Not five, Slow bad. Build, Eminem. Slim, chicka, chicka, shady. Number four, Tupac. Number three, Nas. <gasps> number two, K Dot, Kendrick. They could collapse that number four. Number one, y'all know who it is. Bitch, don't kill my vibe. You know who's number one. You yeah. Never, never have to oh doubt who's number God. one. Here list, we go. Never have to doubt it. Can we talk about list <sighs> bait? Can we talk about list bait? I, we had this conversation. Yeah, list bait, right? Uh, y'all could have this conversation. Uh, uh, I'm not doing this. You don't want to do this? Is it because of the Nas I'm ranking? I'm not doing this. Mm -hmm. You guys do it. Go ahead. All right, so <laughs> me and Jake were having a conversation. Fucking okay. shit. Can I get some Me and Jake were having a conversation about these lists being made and certain little landmines yeah. being placed in the positions <laughs> of, you know, that's going to cause conversation. So yeah. Drake, Drake's, I'm not Drake, uh, Jake said to me, Kendrick being number two is a landmine yeah. on the billboard list. Yes. And I don't believe that's true. Because I believe that the accolades, the influence, the impact, the longevity, the praise, the acknowledgement that Kendrick has as a young yard artist on that list mm. is well deserved. I agree. Um, I do believe that these but lists, of all of the no 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 go 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 no no go 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 no I'm just saying I do believe that these lists do cause good and great and moronic conversation <laughs> all in one. Well, th talk to me about the moronic part of this conversation. The moronic part is when people view these lists or they read these lists or see someone else express their opinion on said person on said list, mm -hmm. things become personal. Mm -hmm. They start saying personal things. They start getting personal about the music that I don't subjectively like. So... Were you were you were you in the in, the, in Twitter beefs this week over oh, no, your, yeah, your thoughts yeah, last night? Well, not okay. Twitter. Oh, the Twitter beefs going on right now. Okay. But um, yesterday on IG, well, earlier this week, you know, I do rap life review with Ebro on the desk. Shout out Deska. Shout out Ebro. We did uh, a similar conversation about the top ten rappers on said list, mm -hmm. and I said that number four, which is Tupac Shakur, is not a good rapper. I, you know and then, but, then I, I but then I said Not a good rapper To me I don't think he's a good rapper To me I think he's a good songwriter I think he's a great I think he's a great artist I think the presentation And package Is influential Is rap not art? Not I'm, like not saying, I'm not I just I don't like, like You don't like his flow? Is I don't, don't like his flow I never was a huge fan I never went back Into his shit And said Yo you heard what Pac said Or yo I gotta go back To that album Yeah Brennan's yeah. got a baby Brennan's got a baby 
Phenomenal. Keep your head up. Phenomenal. But Re okay, the, while you say this, remind me of air to tell you a story about Brenda. No, <laughs> the, about Tupac rapping. Okay. Okay. Um, rapping. Tupac's output in music overrides the small nuggets of of greatness that he. You think he's got more clunkers than way more moments. clunkers. So then, like when you're looking at the volume, yeah, of music that he's put out, and you're looking at the volume of songs that you want to sit and critique and consider, it's just like this is not as good as what I'm seeing people to say, and it's like. I'm not the one that just came out the woodwork and just said, "Yo, Tupac's not a good rapper." This has been a this has been an ongoing conversation for right, years. Right. So that's why I'm so shocked when I look in the comments right now and people are like, "Oh, you don't know rap music. Oh, it's an East Coast bias," which may be partially, partially true. But if you go and look at my comments right now, a lot of people be like, "Yo, I actually do agree." Mm. Like I actually understand what he's saying. I probably didn't articulate it how I am now. Because me and Ebro got into like a heated debate about it. Yeah. But I still stand and will die on that hill. I don't think he's a good rapper. But that's the whole thing about these lists. This is a subjective thing. There's no opinion or law that says, yeah, Rosie's right, Kaz is right, I'm right, Jake's right, this, that, and the third. This is what I think. And then I also said, I'm not taking him off the list. I'm just replacing him with Wayne. I'm putting Wayne at four and putting Pac at seven. It's honestly... I would do that. that and that's 100%. It, that's it. Because also, we were... Around more for Wayne, like right. we were raised more with Wayne. Like, yeah, he spoke more to us than Pac. And this is not so, my list. I get that, but as long as Tupac's still in the top ten, that's all, yo, I'm not gonna disagree with you. I'll say this, and this is probably controversial. Uh, I always thought like Tupac was trending to be like a pop artist before he died, right? <laughs> like I feel what, like what, what 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 drove you to that? I feel like, you know, he was starting to do movies, you know what I mean? Like that, no, a lot I, of his I songs don't like were that, though. I don't like that narrative like when people start doing movies or venturing out into like their career and different paths. We were like, I'm oh, trying to be mainstream and pop. Like, no, he's trying to do different shit, get different money. Of course, but I definitely think he was going to be, you know, uh how we do in hip hop, man, like especially when it comes to lyricism and lyricists, you know what I'm saying? Like once you reach a certain level, and maybe it's changed because Biggie and Pac are just so, like, monumental polarizing. And, and, and polarizing, yeah. whereas, like, their deaths legitimately changed the trajectory of where hip-hop was going to go either way. So we'll always just have these hypothetical what-ifs on where their careers would have been. Of course. But just using educated guesses, you know what I'm saying? He was only 20-something years old. He was handsome. He was dating Madonna. He was uh, doing movies and stuff. He was having top 10 hits. He was doing the MTV Awards. Like, he was... You look at the people around them. Look at Snoop Dogg. Look at Dr. Dre. Those guys aren't pop. Those guys aren't mainstream. Like those aren't guys that we would have assumed had they grown as he had he grown to age gracefully. Like his contemporaries were at that well, time. Well, well, okay, he wouldn't be well, looked at well, as much more of a. Well, I'm not, my so only okay. regret could you never can't, be you can't, back home. You can't. You can't. You uh, can't. What? Hey yo, that's not how the song goes, Rosie. <laughs> I have a whole list. You can't. You can't group. You can't group. This is my only. Disagreeing with your argument. You can't group Dre, Snoop, and Pac in the same bubble. Because okay, how about Pac and Snoop? Or Pac, Pac Snoop, and Cube? How about Cube? Cube mm. is, is... Okay, that's a better Family comparison. friendly. Ice-T yeah. is a cop on TV. I like love, These are all the people me, we grew up with. Man, let me say something about these rapper-turned-actors. Some of them are really fucking good. Of course. There's people that... like Method really Man, no, Method Pac, Man's Pac, great. Pac was very good. Method Man's Pac great. Was phenomenal. Yassine Cube. Bay's great. Cube's great. Phenomenal. Ice-T is great. Ice-T. DMX, yeah. Nah, DMX wasn't a good actor. He wasn't a good actor? I, I mean, think Nas should do more, neither, neither more Nas. movies. I think Nas should do more yo, DMX, movies. DMX and Nas suck. For sure. I that, mean, I mean, think DMX... was good as just, like, entertaining, but, like, acting-wise, like, literally just, like, breaking down the logistics. They, they well, we re we rarely got to see DMX really be a thespian, bro. He was basically just playing himself in different scenarios. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's like, DMX, but he's a cop with a martial arts best friend. But, yeah, Nas, Nas and DMX... <laughs> but he's a drug dealer. Billy. Nas and DMX and Billy suck. Like, yeah. acting-wise but that movie was phenomenal so, yeah, I'll give you that but I guess to the conversation of what we're happening and having having um, you know my opinion clearly means something to y'all motherfuckers and I don't know why and I don't Really care. It's not like you have a rap show on Apple or anything. Like I think that's they would. Not like, yeah, like, I think that's the reason they would care about your opinion. <laughs> and then uh, Michael Rappaport jumped in the comments. It was like, "Who the fuck is this dude?" 
And I responded. Oh my god! And I responded, not and I again. And I responded. This um, guy is like the fucking. G- no, I responded. I, I said I ask myself that same question every time I hear your voice. <laughs> he, is, he said that to you. <laughs> he said, "Who the fuck is this dude?" What was your tweet? No, it was uh, it was a video I posted about same thing we're having a conversation about Tupac that I don't think he's a good rapper. Who so the he, fuck is this dude? That's what he said. That's how I hear it. That's how I, I hear everything he said. And then I responded forty seconds later. Uh, that's the same way I feel every time I hear your voice. <laughs> Yo, there's a small part of me that is like, I can't like I understand why people can't stand Michael Rappaport, bro. I, I, but I'm it's not, like he you, always throws himself in these conversations this about has culture. Nothing to do with and it's you. Always like, bro. I don't, even I think, don't do this. I don't, even think, don't do it. A small part of me kind of respects it. like his his vigor for the conversation, the bravery. Yeah, that's like, cool. Just but being bro. able to like have these rap combos I'm, on the time of Vols, but like, or basketball I'm, conversations with Vols, but it always ends up the same way. It's like nigga who asked. <laughs> like no one asked you. Like yeah. bro, like I, we've been posting these videos for years, and now yeah. you come because it's Tupac. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Didn't know you were the biggest Tupac fan, but if you are cool, I respect it. But like, let's keep it respectful. Why does like, he always feel the need to? Be in a conversation saying, about like, we can, well, uh, <laughs> Rappaport shoots at uh, WTF which isn't too far from we here we saw him I'd love to yeah we should it would be fantastic if you guys I had have, it I out on this podcast I have no problem I don't think I could sit for an hour and a half with his voice I have no problem having a face to face conversation or debate about rap but if that's how you're gonna approach it then we're just not I don't need to I don't need to do that. He's mm. gonna talk like this the whole time. You're not gonna he's raise like, my blood like, pressure. He's like, look, what are you talking about? You're never gonna talk about Tupac. What are you talking about? You're even a rapper. What are you talking about Tupac? Okay. This is why you can't have. <laughs> can't have <laughs> but see, but see, oh, it guys. goes back. It goes back to my point about. <laughs> Y'all definitely gonna be like rolling on the table by the conversation. Like. It definitely goes back to my point about these t- these conversations being moronic. Yeah. It goes into like who the fuck is this dude? Who is like if you actually do your research, my credentials are there. So that's a lot of people <laughs> were in the comments saying, "Well, yeah, his his opinions invalidated." Like my nigga, I've been doing this shit for fifteen years. Do I get it all right? No, I don't. But I have my fucking opinion and when I say it publicly that means I mean it let him know low so if I'm wrong or if, if you can prove me wrong or if you can persuade me I'm all down for it but don't disrespect my credentials because you just found out about rap life Ooh. go outside and touch some grass before you come in wow you know what I mean we can get to the shits alright well Ain't no better way to wrap up an episode of Say Less than that right there. Thank you guys for tuning in. Lo, what you doing this weekend, brother? Bye, each other. Fuck. <laughs> Just fry each other with you, man. <laughs> Rosie, what you doing? <laughs> Whatever y'all are doing, man. I don't know why I talk slower when you put that on. You don't need to talk slower. <laughs> I don't know, but it's fun. It already talks slow. Um, oh, let me get it going. That sounded a little legal right there. Right there. An alien. Wow. That sounded like the beginning of Transform You. It definitely sounded like Optimus Prime. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm going to go skiing this weekend. There's a bunch of shit. You went skiing with us? No, I didn't, but I think I want to. That gave me... That I made can't, me I can't, I couldn't, Yeah, that I was too much. Right. I'm sorry, guys. I wasn't. Was anyway, uh, everybody, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, appreciate y'all. Uh, appreciate the birthday wishes. Thank you guys as well. I love you guys so much. I appreciate y'all. Uh, Benson, Jake, Madison, appreciate you. Thank you guys. Dang. Um, man, uh, thank you for supporting Count It. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Thank you for checking out the Mass Man Show, Ringer Wrestling Network. Uh, top on the sports podcast right now. Hey. Uh, one of the uh, catch us on Mondays and Thursdays. While they made Mania tickets are on sale right now. Ooh, they are moving so fast. Me and Laura going. Damn, they're sold out. You better get your tickets now. I didn't even announce no guests yet, but I'm going to do that by the time you see this video. Um, March 30th at the Novo, Los Angeles, LA Live, the weekend of WrestleMania. Can't wait to see all yes, of y'all faces. Uh, yes. But like I we will o- not be twerking this year. <laughs> say Famous that, say last that words. Now. We're going to take this clip and it's going to go like fast forward. <laughs> <laughs> a month later. A few, a few Bel Air <laughs> bottles <laughs> later. Right. I will not be twerking on white men this year. Let me make it more specific. 
<laughs> a few moments later. I will not twerk on white men. We'll do the SpongeBob like fast forward later. Uh, but no, thank y'all for joining me uh, and the guys right here on Say Less, like we always do with this time. And the woman, fuck. Oh, uh, and the lady. I mean, yeah, guys is one of the bros. I'm sorry, you're one of the bros anyway. So all. what can you do? Like we always do. <laughs> <laughs> like we always do with this time, people. Stay free, stay safe, and, and always stay say less. less. We'll see oh y'all gosh. next week, y'all. Peace. Cardi, baby, you hungry? Yes, you know I'm hungry. Come on, we about to go to McDonald's. Yes, I want a cheeseburger with some barbecue sauce. Mm, a little Coke on the side. You know I got to get the quarter pounder with cheese with the hot seat. I want an apple pie, too, with some fries. Oh, you know what we going to call what it. we going to call it. The Cardi B and Offset meal. Only to March 12th, though. Only to March 12th. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. I'm loving it. Hey! And participate at McDonald's for a limited time.